Everything you have seen so far, except the ink and the paper, has been 3D printed. This is kind of Linocut, made entirely with a 3D printer. But let's start with the Linocut. What is Linocut? This is a printmaking technique in which you have a linoleum block like this one. You carve it using special carving tools for making the design you like, like this one. Then you use a roller to ink your design, put a piece of paper on top and then transfer the ink using a button. Now you can make million copies of your design. If you want to use watercolor paper, then you can also color your design later on. So my question was, can I do all of this just by using a 3D printer? So I've designed all the components and tried it. Let's see. First of all, I need a spatula for spreading the ink. That's easy peasy. The only important thing here is to make a fillet for making it stronger. And some more just because. Let's printing and done. Then we have the roller. This is already a little bit more complicated because I want to do a print in place. I don't want to assemble the mechanism after printing. So I sketch the internal part, then sketch the second part at one millimeter distance from the first one. In this way they can freely rotate, but they cannot escape one from another. Then I revolve both and that's it for the print in place mechanism. Then I add two more points where the handle will be attached. Print it and done. The handle is pretty straightforward. I first design the half and then I mirror it. I'm doing it almost by eye, so I need to check that everything fits or I need to adjust something on fly. Seems okay, let's go one more time to the printer. Then the skin of the roller. This should be flexible, so I print it in TPU 95A, which is actually printable on a Bowden system. Then the button, that's probably the easiest, just a couple of extrusions. Now let's design our Linocut plate. I just put some random circle and the central one where the main design should be. And I will design a 3D printer extruder. I will go for the bottom tube and actually I will add two Linocut carving tool at the bottom just for having a mixed media.
let's add something on the borders for giving a little bit more dynamic look. And on the other side as well. Let's print it. Also this should be flexible material, so I use the same TPU 95A like before. Now I have everything for starting the printmaking process. The spatula, the roller to be assembled. Actually, let's do it now. Then the baron and our design. Let's try to print. Let's put some blacking, spread it out with an extender. Roll it up on the roller. and transfer it to the design. Now the printing part. And well, it's far to be perfect, but I kind of like the look. Maybe a fresher ink or a softer material would work better, but I'm already happy with it as a proof of concept. Now the real question, is this cheating? Well, I will not call it Linocut, as this was done with additive manufacturing rather than subtractive manufacturing, which is Linocut. It's another printing block technique. And for me, as long as you are making your own design, it's just another method of printing. What do you think? Is this cheating or not? Reply in the comment and see you next time.